Hey guys, welcome back to MyPaperPassion.com. This is Gabrielle and today I am bringing you um, a new product on MyPaperPassion.com and it is the Heidi Swap Mink Machine. Um, if you are not familiar with um, the Mink Machine and what it does, um, this video is going to be perfect for you. Um, let me just start off by saying um, that this particular machine is um, its sole purpose really is to foil um, certain projects like cards or Project Life pages or scrapbook pages. Um, it's to add that um, foil effect to the um, to your project. So that's what this machine is for. Um, I ended up picking up this machine for a steal. Um, in the city where I live, there is a craft outlet and the outlet sells all types of crafting um, tools and paper and scrapbooking things um, for a steal. Um, and this particular machine um, sells um, at most stores for $149. Um, at the craft outlet, however, it sells for only $75. And on top of that, if you have um, their if you sign up for their um, mailing list, you get a 50% off coupon that you get to use um, just by saying the little, um, it's like a little um, mystery word that they send only to their subscribers. So you have to know what the, the um, keyword is for the week and you get 50% off. So I ended up getting this for $39, I think, out the door. So that was a huge deal. So I figured... $39 really cannot beat that, um, especially for what you can do with this machine. So I'm going to do an unboxing. Um, I don't typically do unboxings, but um, because I didn't um, open it up yet, I thought, why not do it here um, for my viewers? So like I said, if this is something you were interested in thinking about, uh, this is going to be a great video. So let's go ahead and get started with um, unboxing it. So um, I'm just going to get my little scissors or tools here. Um, like I said, I wasn't um, very familiar with this machine. It's pretty new. Um, I believe it just released um, at CHA, which is the Craft and Hobby Association. Um, their mega show that they have uh, was just a few months ago, and I believe it, that's when it was um, actually introduced. So it's a very um, new machine, which I was surprised with it being so new that, um, like I said, my outlet store had it already. Um, but, like I said, I was pleasantly surprised. So I'm just taking off the tape here. And then there's this a little latch on the back. I want to make sure that I have it sitting down so I don't, um, so the contents don't spill out. All right, let's see what we've got here. All right, I'm going to set it up here. So... Looks like we've got some foil with some sample sheets. Um, looks like some tags that um, you'll be able to use right away just to see how the machine works. There's an instruction manual. And the machine itself. I'm just going to pull it out here. Okay, nothing else in the box. Let's throw that down to the side. All right, the machine itself is not too heavy. Um, I would compare it maybe to the weight of the Cricut, maybe. All right, so it's sealed in plastic here. It's very pretty. So it's not too big either. I mean, this will be something that I could leave sitting out in my craft room and it not take up too much space at all. Okay, so I'm just pulling off a protective layer of plastic there because this is a heat machine. I definitely don't want to keep that on there. Okay, so here is what it looks like. Right. And I will tell you the cord, um, it's not a very long cord, so you're going to need to make sure that you have this sitting somewhere that's pretty close to an outlet, um, just so that you have um, enough space there. Okay, so I'm just going to flip over to the back. So on the back side here, there is the on and off switch. And then on this side here, there is another button 
that um, has an R and an F, that's reverse and forward. So if you feed something through the machine and you decide that you don't want to feed it through, you can um, flip the switch here, reverse, and it'll um, push it back through. So I'm going to go ahead and push the power button here on the right. And now you'll notice that that doesn't do anything here um, on the front. And I'll zoom in here. So on top of the machine there is another gold button and this is where you're actually going to actually physically turn on the machine. Um, and you'll notice that there are numbers 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Those are actually your heat settings. So 0 would mean no heat and then 5 would be the highest heat. And, depend, and it, that really depends on what material you're going to be using. So I'm going to go ahead and um, hit my gold button until it's at 3. 3 is going to be the general um, setting that you would keep it on for most materials. So, Okay, so it's blinking now and um, once it heats up you'll hear it beep again. So in the meantime while that's heating up I'm going to go ahead and um, just go through um, the bag here and see what other materials come with the kit. So again, there's the owner's manual. Let's see. And a couple of tags. And I think for the video, I'm going to do one of the tags. I'm just going to zoom out here while this is warming up. So it comes with um, two tags that you can kind of use just to, like I said, get a feel of the machine and what it can do. And then it also comes, oh, it comes with actually three tags. One just fell out over there on the side. So it comes with three tags. And then it comes with a 12 by 12. Okay, it's beeping now, so that means that it's all warmed up. So that took less than a minute, I would say, or probably about a minute. Um, so it comes with also with a 12 by 12 transfer sheet. This is what you're going to use um, to add the foil to your pieces so you need this so that it, your um, foil is applied properly and then it comes with a, a little piece of looks like this might be a 12 by 6 piece of gold um, foil. Alright so I'm going to go ahead and take the foil um, out of the package and one thing I do want to note while I'm taking this out of the package is that this machine once you turn it on for the very first time um, it does has, have um, it has a very strong um, smell to it. It almost smells like um, maybe, I'm going to say maybe like, um, I'm trying to talk and do this at the same time. I, I, don't, I don't do very well with multitasking, so I'm just going to go ahead and pull this out of here. So I'm just grabbing, uh, getting the foil out. So it's a very, it's a very thin foil. Um, but like I said, it has a very strong scent and it'll have that smell the very first couple of times that you use the machine um, just because it's um, the very, you know, the very first time. But after you use the machine a couple of times, um, that smell does go away. All right. I am going to um, quickly show you um, how this works. So first of all, a couple of things. In order for um, you to use the mink machine, you have to have... Um, something that has been printed with um, laser jet ink. So this particular tag that comes with the kit, this black portion here, wherever you see the black, that's what's going to be foiled um, gold in this particular case because I'm using the gold foil. Now Heidi Swap does offer a number of um, different colored foils that you can use so it doesn't it's not always going to be gold you can use she has um, beautiful pink foils silver foils um, there's this mint green foil there's teal there's lots of different colors so um, but for this um, particular one I'm going to use a foil the gold foil that came um, with the kit so if you print something on um, using a laser jet printer and it has to be laser jet you cannot use an inkjet printer um, you can transfer whatever's printed with that black laser jet that can be turned into um, the foil so on this particular case the for you here on this um, tag and the black part here at the top of this black line will all be foiled okay 
All right, so what you're going to do, you're going to get your transfer paper and you're going to open it up. Now this transfer paper that came with the kit, like I said, is a 12 by 12. Um, I don't foresee myself foiling anything this large. So what I'm going to end up doing is cutting this um, down because the things that I will be foiling won't be this big. Um, I'm thinking that my main purpose for using this particular machine will be for Project Life cards or for just making cards, which um, are not very big. So I'm going to be cutting mine down after this video, but and, but I'll just use it for right now in the size that it um, comes in. So you're going to take your um, transfer paper, open it up, and I'm just going to move the machine back so it, what I'm doing is actually in the video here. And then whatever you're going to foil, in this case, um, this tag, this is what you're going to foil. So now what I'm going to do, because I'm not, I don't want to waste all of this foil, I'm just going to cut a big enough piece of foil to cover this tag. Uh, because I don't want, like again, like I said, I don't want to waste my foil. So I'm just going to, um, I'm just using my tag. I'm putting it underneath the foil as just a guide, so I can see how much I, how big I need to cut my foil. So I'm going to um, cut my foil here. And you want to make sure when you're using your um, foil, when you're cutting it, that you're using really good quality scissors. Um, because if you have cheaper scissors, you might have a difficult time cutting that foil. So I'm going to put the rest of the foil to the side. So now my tag is here. I'm going to set my transfer. I have my transfer paper down here. I'm going to set my um, tag down. I'm going to zoom in here just a little bit. Okay. Move that up just a bit there. Okay. So I've got my my tag sitting here on my transfer um, paper. Then I'm going to cover this tag with the foil. Now you would think that you would put the foil down like this onto the tag, but you don't. The foil, the color side actually is supposed to be um, facing, the, it's facing up. So I'm just gonna cover it up like that. Then I'm going to close my transfer paper here. Now I'm going to make sure before I feed this through that I um, make sure that my transfer, I kind of smooth out everything there. Make sure that there is no bubbles or anything in there. Okay. So now that this is in, I'm going to go ahead and feed it through my machine and I'll zoom out a little bit more here just so you can see that that whole process. I'll pull this back there. Okay, so this part of my um, transfer paper here, this is um, where the two pieces, the closure is. And then the only thing I have to do, I'm just getting something, I have a piece of plastic still on the machine. I don't want to run that through there. Okay, so now what you're going to do is just run your transfer paper through. And there are rollers in here that will pick up the transfer um, paper once you get it ran through. So I'm just going to push it through until the rollers grab it. Okay, now the rollers have grabbed it. You'll notice my hands are off and it's running through. And it does um, run through a little bit slower just because it takes time for that foil to really um, transfer onto the card stock. So you'll see that it's coming now out the back. It's very similar to a laminator. And I have um, heard some, some individuals compare it to a laminator. Um, however, once you'll, you'll see once I take the tag out that um, it is absolutely wonderful. Um, and I, I've, I've heard, I've seen some videos and um, where some people have tried to use a laminator to see if it'll work the same, and it just doesn't. So um, you definitely want to make sure that you have this machine. 
to get the best results. So it's um, almost all the way through. Um, and with the transfer paper, you can use the transfer um, paper over and over again. The transfer paper is the clear paper. Um, you will be able to use that more than once so you don't have to worry about um, not having enough of that. Um, so it looks like it's almost done here. Okay, it's all the way done. So now I'm just going to open up my transfer paper, pull my tag out, pull my tag off here. Now the foil, I'm just going to take this top layer off and you'll notice the foil has transferred. Let's see if I can zoom in so you can see, you can really see the gold where that's. So everywhere where it used to be black on the card, it is now a gold, beautiful gold foil. Um, and I'm just thinking this would be perfect for wedding invitations, um, baby shower invitations, because it's so beautiful and, it, and it, you have really have professional results. So that's basically how the machine works. It's pretty simple. It's, you know, it doesn't take a lot. And as you can see, it just took me minutes from opening up the box to doing my first project. So it doesn't, um, you know, take a lot at all. Already. Um, this particular kit, um, and I'll show you, I'll try to zoom in here. Um, this particular kit has a ton of three by three cards and um, that you can foil. So again, everywhere where you see black, um, you would be able to foil I, any of the colors, the foil colors that you have. Like I said, you don't have to have just gold. So these are the cars that come in this kit. This particular kit was on clearance for 90, I think it's 97, 97 cents um, at Joann's already. So that's one of the kits um, that you can um, buy for the machine. Um, she also has alphabet um, letters that you can um, um, print out in your gold. And I'll show you um, what this looks like. I'll pull, I'm going to pull this package open actually. So in the particular package there are alphabet letters that have been printed out, already pre-printed um, with a laser jet um, ink. So here's the letter H. So um, it's polka dot right now. It's polka dot black and white, which I think is kind of cute. But of course, if you were to foil that gold, for for instance, every place where there where it's black, um, it's going to be gold. So this, once you foiled it, this H would be gold and white. Um, so that's one of the kits that you can um, purchase. And again, this this kit was on clearance for only a dollar ninety seven at Joann's. So with the steel that I got with the machine on top of clearance items, I felt like I got a really good deal. Um, and then there's also other little tag sets that you can buy um, to foil. There's also card sets that you can um, purchase for the machine. Again, on clearance, this set um, is on clearance for $1.97. And this particular set comes with four different cards and um, two different envelope styles that you can foil. So you can not only foil the cards, but you can also foil um, the envelopes. And then there's other, um, almost I would call these like die cuts that are cut out, um, already pre-cut out. And I'll show you the back side. Um, and the, they're already kind of pre-cut out die cut letters or words in the inkjet um, paper and then I also found this um, these meat sheets at Joann's on clearance for 97 cents and they're the inkjet they're the um, the laser jet sheet so um, if you had um, a die cutting machine like a silhouette or a Cricut um, you could die cut certain phrases using um, the meat paper here so so I'm going to show you what that looks like 
so the paper comes just like this it almost looks like it's black cardstock but it's actually the mink cardstock that would allow you to transfer the foil um, and this particular pack um, was on clearance for 97 cents and you get two five by sevens um, two eight by tens and a four by six and a four by four in this particular pack that you could do some die cutting with so um, and then also this is how the foil comes you can purchase the foil from I, I've seen it at Hobby Lobby and I've seen it at Joann's and it comes in um, a roll that is let's see 12 and a quarter by 120 inches and this one is just the gold one that I purchased um, and last week Joann's had them on sale for 30% off um, and then of course if you get it from Hobby Lobby you can always use a 40% off coupon if it's not on sale so those are just some of some accessories and there's lots of other products that Heidi Swap has already made for this particular product so um, again I think um, it was what it does um, I think is really great I think it'll take card making to the next level it'll take your scrapbook pages to the next level project life pages to the next level it's just a really cool machine and um, if you know me very well um, as a crafter you know I love my tool so um, this is another great tool to add to your collection and um, like I said I think it just makes beautiful um, beautiful embellishments and different things to add to your project so um, if you have any other questions about the Mink Machine, um, feel free to email me. I'll do my best to answer them. I'm pretty new to this as well. Like I said, it's a new machine. Um, I haven't got a chance to play with it at all. As you, I just unboxed it, so um, I haven't got a chance to play with it. I have watched a couple of videos um, online to get more information, but I will do my best to answer any questions that you have. Um, if you um, like the video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. And if you're not already a subscriber to my channel, go ahead and subscribe down at the bottom. And um, I look forward to doing some projects with this. And I think my next video will probably be a card project using um, the Meek Machine. So stay tuned. All right. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.